All right, so here's a trade I took yesterday. Uh, Screencast-O-Matic was acting weird. I decided to take a look at gold and do a proper top-to-bottom approach. I drew a few resistance lines. If you see, this is an area that gold came. Wow, almost, almost exactly nine years ago, 2011. And the price is nearing the region again. It hasn't been here since the last, since 2012, almost the last six, seven, eight, eight or nine years. It hasn't been in this region, you know. So it is definitely a high price. You can see that gold has been going up strong bullish trend. The moving averages are going up. Okay. Look, go down to the weekly and you will see. Again, very strong uptrend. Okay, very strong uptrend. Very strong bullish, uh, bullish action in here. Of course, it's a resistance level, so there is some sort of uh, buying and selling pressure here. If you look at this region, it had to break through. It broke through quite easily, actually. A month it couldn't break through there was some rejection and then it broke through now when I look at this this is what I see this is what I see look at this so this is last month right no last week sorry this is now in the weekly it is still a uh, very much bullish very strong bullish trend higher high higher low there's a higher high confirming this low it breaks past the high confirming this low breaks past that high confirming the low it's still on a high um, it's on a very strong uptrend the last one two three four five weeks have been bullish last week's candle it came to this region tried to go up sellers pushed it back down this is almost a strong candle but you see a good selling pressure here so we are at the end of the week price did try to go up and i did see some sort of a rejection in this region of course yesterday it looked a little more different we go down to the daily and we begin to look at what price is doing uh, so on the weekly and the monthly it is still bullish um okay it's still bullish reason recent price action okay let's take a higher low it breaks past it's still valid bull is still valid here however if you look at what day is this this is the seventh eighth uh today okay eight nine ten okay since this, so this is last week it ended here then it came down here so this is the entire week okay it's forming a beautiful double top and if you look at this boom beautiful double top uh, divergence I'm gonna remove this. While that is happening, yeah, of course it is at an extreme also above 80. While that is happening, you see it try to make a bigger high. The first leg and it uh this, this is the second leg. So yesterday it was this candle wasn't there, it was just the beginning of the candle. Uh, I this was done. Uh, this hammer had done and if you look at it it comes to the area of it comes and tests the open of the first leg but does not close above it it rejects this region and just maybe this candle looked almost exactly like this yesterday with a slight bear so because I saw rejection in this region I'm gonna mark it let me mark it Because I saw rejection in this region, let me put some beautiful colors to it. But yeah, 
Yo-ho. Okay. Because I saw rejection in this region and a divergence, then I went down. Now, the overall bias is bull, but I'm seeing rejection and selling pressure on the daily. And I see, look at this. When I come down to the four hour, it's a bit too colored, isn't it? When I come down to the four hour, let's, there's not the best, but there is a form of divergence, okay? And uh, let's go to, let's enlarge it. Let's look at the momentum of the candles. Strong bear. So this comes up to this region. It's not the best looking whatever, but uh, when you look at the bulls, this is decent. I'm seeing some sort of rejection in this region. It's resisting this area. Let's put it over here. Yep. It's just resisting that area, rejection, rejection, um, mainly because of the daily and this rejection region here and the fact that it is close to its all time highs. Uh, that's why it was more prob I was, it is more probable to go down than go up. So remember the candlestick formation whether it's a double top or an engulfing or whatever candlestick signal that we're looking at, it is the candles indicating to us, it is not a once in a lifetime occurrence, okay? It is at specific times that candles are communicating to us that it wants to go down. So that daily, this is such beautiful communication to me that it wants to go down. It didn't break. The ideal trade would have been an entry from this region. Okay, so I entered based off the daily, then I looked at the four hour. If I look at this overall, I'm seeing stronger bear momentum. Look at the big bear candles, all stronger bear. Even this is a good bear candle, little wicks are small, strong bears. This is okay. There is selling pressure here. So I would target, this is the neckline. These are smaller bull candles. Sellers are trying to pull it, push it down. Bulls took it up. It's more selling pressure here. Let's go to four or one hour. Nice rejections there. I like this pin bar, came down, again, rejecting this region, and because of that, mainly because of the daily, that's why I took that sell, and I targeted, let's go and look at our targets. So I took this around, what time was it? Uh, let's say five o'clock, broker time, so uh, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten to ten thirty in the night on a Thursday. That's when the setup happened. Uh, yeah, so I entered around one eight zero seven. Let's go to all right. So this is the trade I took yesterday. Basically, I had entered three different positions. Well, this is 1808, and then there was another one at 1807, uh, and then 0 0.72, which goes to say it's not, it was not the perfect one, but almost perfect. Anyways, this was the kind of entry I wanted, and I exited exactly around here because this was where. Uh, let's bring that where is it? Sheesh. All right, yeah. 
So around here is where I exited. This is an area of previous structure and support. Uh, it came all the way down, smashed this, and went up. But I know this is an area of resistance, I, and it's a counter trend. I want immediate, like just to the neckline. I just needed it to the neckline. That's it. So I took around here. Perfect, beautiful trade. It was a 1.77 risk to reward. Actually, I'm kind of confused about uh, the tips on gold, but well, it worked, bro. 113 pips with a one dollar. I mean, with a one lot. I don't understand the pip size. Okay, anyways, it works with a. Yeah, it's about 112, 13 pips. Whatever. Anyways, so that's the trade. My uh, stop loss was readjusted originally. It would have been above this region, but since it was continuous rejection, and I wasn't really sure, I just made it uh, like a few pips above this. Let's say. Uh, 14 to 15 pips above so even if I put it about 20 pips so 86 would have still been a good trade mm -hmm. so that is gold uh, and it just goes on to show that top to bottom approach always works let's look at the one hour nothing much on the 30 minute anyway so it was mainly based on the daily beautiful trade now what i think it's going to do is i'm going to take this out well i think it's oh beautiful rejection man beautiful rejection it's going to end the week around here or it's going to find a beautiful support and go up but today is a friday so i don't know what it wants to do let's see what the market as of now right now nothing it does look like in an over almost an oversold region it is in a rejection it would be better if it dropped down to this place around this region i would expect it to at least come down to here before any good buy signals so that's that top to bottom approach works and uh, this is the result I took three positions this was just a trust tiny amount so almost 1% growth right risking a smaller amount that's a good thing that's it